Okay, hello, hello. Hear me? Yes, hello, Sway. How are you? Everything is good. I was too busy this day, but at the end, everything's good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, yeah, so you had a busy week. Or yes. a busy day. A busy, a busy week, a busy day. <laughs> yeah, that happens, right? But um, it's important for, for us to, um, you know, even though things may be difficult, you know, we always remember that tomorrow is a new day and we can start from scratch, right? So, you know, whatever happened today, we can... You know, tomorrow tomorrow is a new hope for a better day. Yes, that's the way, teacher. Thanks. Yeah, I, I always say, think positively. I mean, um, you know, I, I think that the thinking positively is the best thing to do. That's my that's my motto, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, welcome, uh, Juan and Judith. How are you? Good night, teacher. Good evening, Juan. How are you? Uh, I'm bad because I'm I am sick. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that. What happened, Juan? Uh, all this week, uh, I I was uh, sick. This week is very bad for me. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that. Um, have you gone to the doctor? Uh, yes, um, today I'm better than yesterday. Oh, good. Okay, that's important. That's important. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that you're, you're feeling better. Yeah. Okay. Good. You're, you're drink. you are you taking some medicine? Yes, uh, I, I, the doctor said me uh, some. How do you say pastilla? Pills. He prescribed you some pills. Prescribe. Exactly. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Juan, I'm happy to hear that you, um, that you're doing better, right? Um, that, um, yeah, that hopefully tomorrow you will be even better than you are today. I hope. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Hello, Josue. How are you? Everything's good. Okay, good. Excellent. And Gisela, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Good, Gisela. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Um, all right. I just remembered something, Judith. Uh, you you were asking about um, about the platform yesterday. Uh, were you able to find out how to use it, Judith? Yes, teacher. But I don't know the first lesson. Uh, I don't know the homework. Uh, only in my book or where put the the homework oh yeah the homework from from the class for today yeah okay yeah the homework that i leave for you judith is mostly for you to practice and for you to use in class okay so don't worry about um uploading the homework or anything like that. You don't have to worry about that. Right now, the, the only thing you have to worry about for the grade is the platform. But the homework we have in class helps us for you to practice and to be able to do the activities that we have scheduled in class. Okay. okay? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So do you understand now how to use the platform, Judith? Uh, no. Today I I make the the 
the exer exercise the for the I I don't know but uh, I don't know say but today uh, wait. Did you work on the platform today, Judith? Yes, yes, but the, uh, I don't remember, but today, same. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, Judith, um, in the platform, you yes. will notice that the platform has um, sections, right? Okay, I don't know if you've noticed that the platform has sections. So, if you open up the platform, you will notice that the first thing that you will see are, it says here, um, section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five. Yes, yes? yes. okay. Yes. So we have going down, right? Yes. Okay. Then if you click on each section, it says, um, it, it will open up and it will say homework, okay, for section one and section two. In section three, there are two parts. Yeah. Okay. In section three, there are two parts. The parts are um, homework and uh, the midterm. Okay. So we have uh, the homework is some um, section. Uh, well, it says, uh, hold on, give me a moment let's celebrate it's called let's celebrate and then at the bottom it says there the midterm okay so what you have to do is you have to work on the sections where it says homework okay yes okay, okay. Mm -hmm. each section when you click on the homework okay when you click on the homework it will open up at the top there is a bar the top there there is a yeah. bar in in, in there are, let me see, um, there in total, there are 12, 12 bars. Okay. So it says 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4, etc., etc. Okay. To say until 1.11. So in total, the bars are 12, okay? Now, if you notice there is an, in each bar, in each little section, let's say, there is a little icon, there's an icon. And the icon, the first icon is like a little icon of a, let's see, let me just open up. The first icon looks like a little, like a, a book. Do you see that? Right? Hay un pequeño icono como que fuera un librito. Yeah? Okay. In that section of, of the, where it has the book, the only thing that that's, that little part has is the purpose or the objective of that section or that that activity, well, let's put it more like that activity. It tells you the, the objective. So it says lesson objective. So whenever you see that little book, that's the objective. The next one, the next one you will notice that there is like a, it looks like a film, okay? It, okay. The next icon is a film. And that film is the, the video of the explanation, okay? So you watch the video and you can put, you can uh, write in the forum, right? To practice more, yeah? Okay, You there is yes. there's a forum at the bottom. So in that one, it doesn't have a grade, but it's important to, to practice the forum because the forum helps you to get more practice and obviously you will do better, right? Okay, then after that, there's an icon of a paper and a pen. Okay. Yeah, in the one where it says paper and the pen, that's where that's where it says knowledge check. That one is the knowledge check. That is the exercise that you have to do to get a grade. So those are the ones you have to complete. 
okay? So, so don't basically, for example, in section one, there are only one, two, three, three activities that you have to complete okay. for writing. Basically, mm -hmm. that's it, only three, okay? And the videos that have the form, okay? Does that, okay. does that make sense, Judith? Yes. Okay, good. So that's, that's all you have to work on. You just have to worry about the, um, the, the, the icon where it says the paper and the pen. And you can watch the video to help you understand what you have to do in that, in that activity. And the other thing is that, for example, in section, in section three, there are two parts. Like I said, there is the, the mid, sorry, there is the homework part and the midterm. So after you finish the homework, which is exactly what I, what I explained to you, there is a section which is the midterm. And the midterm are the exercises of everything that you have learned in section one, section two, and section three. Okay, so the three sections. Okay, and they go by, um, they, they, in this case, um, they, they go by letters, okay? So you have letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, letter E, okay? Does that make sense, Judith? Yes, teacher. I explored more the platform. Yeah, it's about exploring. You're absolutely right. The more you explore, the better you will be, be at it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, right. Okay, Thank any you. any questions that you guys have? No? No, teacher. Not teacher. Okay, you have a question about the platform. Who said yeah. that? Um, but it's about the knowledge check in the section three. Uh, oh, wow, the, you're already in section three. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to, to work in the platform. And I can see that, Roxana. <laughs> yeah. And, but I have problem with the, with the knowledge check and two part the, the part is of the uh is an oreo about the the carnival carnival on rio de janeiro and but i have problem with with two questions i need to complete two uh th four four questions but i have uh, i have problem I had problem with two and three because I I try to answer in the in many ways and I can, but I listen what is um, which is the the answer. But I have problem when I try to write, but I don't know what is the uh, the for that platform. Uh, is more appropriate or i don't know okay what what number is this is uh, the section is uh, it's an oreo but i don't remember exactly i three I, but uh -huh, three point you said three but three point what three section but this is is oreo activity is uh, listening listening activity uh, the one about the car carnival time? Carnival, yeah. And which number of the carnival time do you have? Two and, two and three questions. Number two and number three. Yes. But I answer the number one, the car carnival. Carnival is a party. And the last one is carnival is a... When I, this is the, an answer, but it's, it's correct for, but I have problem with the two and three question. 
And I would like to know what is the correct form. Okay, let's do something. Uh, Not Roxanne. about the gray. I, I, I have curiously. Okay, curious let's do about some... that because I tried in different way, and I listened to Oreo many times, and I know the answer, but I don't know how right. What is the correct form for the platform? Okay, I understand. All right, so let's do something, Roxana. Send me the answer that you are writing. Send it to oh. me in the WhatsApp. Okay. And I will tell you what's the problem. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay, sounds good? Yes. Okay, good. All right, guys. Um, while we are... Okay, so um, anyways, what we're going to do in this moment right now is um, I, I'm going to be asking you guys to work in small groups okay um so yesterday i explained to you um a little bit about uh the the difference between separate uh, verbs that uh like how we can separate the phrasal verbs putting in some sentence we can put the verb and the particle together and then the complement in some cases we put the object in the middle so, and I asked you to do some exercises. Um, so what I want you to do, I'm gonna get you to work in pairs and you're gonna share your, um, your sentences with your partner. And I want you to listen to your partner's sentences and I want you to tell your partner if you, if you agree with their sentences, if you think they are correct, or if you believe that the sentence needs to um, be changed for some reason, that there's something incorrect about it. Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's, um, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Um, And I'm going to give you five minutes here to work, okay? So you're going to share your sentences and you're going to tell your partner if you agree if the sentences are correct or not, okay? So here we go. Um, let's, let's open them up. It's okay, okay for you? Yes, it's okay. Yes. Okay. The first one is I put my hat on. And the second one is I put on my hat. And if you're using put on. The other one is somebody has to look after the baby. Somebody has to look the baby after the diner. And the other one is, the music is too loud. Could you turn off the volume, please? And the other one is, the music is too loud. Could you turn the volume off, please? And the other one is, I don't know where is my book. I must look it up. And I don't know where my book is. I must look it up. I don't know if it's okay for you. Yes. I okay. It's my my tour. Okay. Okay. Um okay. sorry, I'm going sorry okay. to interrupt. I just wanted to mention something. Uh Gisela, be careful with the word um look. You I think you said um take care, you know, take care. I think you used or care, no, care for, something like that? No, I use a look after. Look after, okay. The the, the phrasal verb look after um, is one of those phrasal verbs that cannot be separated. Just like run after, remember we saw that? 
So just like that one, it's not possible to separate it. So just yeah, be because it's similar to take care, right? Or yeah, it's like take care. That was one of that I have not sure that if can separate because when I made the sentence, the first one is like somebody has to look after the baby. It's correct. But when I try to separate, uh, the sentence make no much sense to me, but I try to do it like that. It was like somebody has to look the baby after the diner. I try to make this the most sentence possible, but I wasn't sure if, if I can separate. Yeah, I understand, I understand. But yeah, just be careful with that one. Like I told you, um, in this case, we are. it's not possible to separate them. So just be careful about that, okay? I made another sentence that I'm not sure to is the using the phrasal verb turn off. I I put the first one is the music is too loud. Could you turn off the volume in please? And in the other way was the music is too loud. Could you turn the volume off please? That is correct too? Yes, turn off, it's okay. But probably the best one would not be turn off. The best one would be turn down. Because turn off means like quitarlo por completo, like just completely not have the volume anymore, uh, the, the, the music. Whereas um, turn, um, uh, turn down means that you can, you can still hear the music but though just the volume is lower. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so go ahead and continue. Okay, I take off my makeup every night. Every night. I take my makeup off every night. What do you think about this sentence? Repeat, I, please. I keep a dictionary around when I'm doing my homework. Yeah, I think it's correct. In this case, the phrasal verb is keep around. Uh huh. Okay, the... continue. Um, what's all the noise? What's going on? Well, repeat, please. What's all the noise? What's going on? ¿Qué, qué es todo ese ruido que está ocurriendo? Es el, el going on, el go on el estructurado. Okay, I, I don't know if that is correct but I, I, to, to ask to the what's teacher. going on poner poner en camino yes no okay. is the the meaning is um oh it's the meaning of that way is a uh, in spanish is um, colocar algo en su lugar en su sitio correcto the put put away okay uh -huh. uh, my my sentence is jose puts away your laptop right now your com your laptop computer right now and jose puts your laptop computer away right now okay Okay, I only I only use me and only bear get only um uh -huh. uh, she has to use the ladder to get down the get down get down what is the meaning the meaning get down is uh, 
como poner, es como, no sé cómo explicarle. Cómo, conse cómo conseguir algo, cómo poner algo cuando usted está, cuando usted está lavando algo así como, she has to Tell me your sentence. She has to use the ladder to get down. She has to use, to use the ladder to get down. The ladder. Ladder. Uh, ladder. Uh -huh. To get down. Como ir bajando la escalera, algo así, no sé cómo explicar. Uh -huh. Okay, I understand. Como en Spanish es como ella. Ella. All right, class, very good. Um, I hope you all had an opportunity there to share with your classmates your ideas. Now, uh, one thing is that um, I want you to be careful with is that the verb that you are using, the phrasal verb, make sure that it's possible to separate them. Remember that um, not, remember I told you not all the verbs in, in all the phrasal verbs can be separated, some verbs um, have to be together. For example, I give yes to the word, uh, the phrasal verb, um, take after, right? I take, um, she takes after her mother. So that it's not possible to, to separate that, right? And so, and there are many other ones. So just be careful with that. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm actually going to get you to work again in, in groups, uh, or sorry, in pairs. And you're going to, you're going to be choosing, um, five phrasal verbs that I want you to use, any phrasal verbs, and you're going to be creating a conversation. Now, the conversation could be about any topic you want, okay, anything at all, but I want you to use the phrasal verb in the conversation. Does that make sense? I have a question. Yeah. Uh, the phrasal verbs will be different that the, we have in the sentence or we can use the same? You can use the same as long as it makes sense, okay? All right, sounds good. Everybody understands what we're gonna be doing? Yes, but I, I have a question about the phrase of the, what is the meaning of hook it up? Hook up? Yeah. Hook up means to connect. Uh, so I can say, we hook it up at the English class. Yes. But um, when you hook up with people, like, um, let me, okay. Let, we we got to be careful because in every context, um, the meaning changes, okay? So hook up something usually means to connect. Um, hook up with a person, like you can hook up with people, 
like okay we can say like hey let's hook up later on it means like what you're saying is let's get together it means let's um, spend time together later okay um, now however if you say that you hook up with somebody in a place um, that, like in the past you hooked up with someone that normally means more of a like a relationship uh, like a romantic relationship so you say for example if you would say we hooked up in the English class it means that in the English class the romance started oh okay. Does that make sense yes yes so just be careful with that um, uh, like I said it's because because hook because of the English class is not for spending time together like that's not the purpose of the English class then it sounds like you were doing something else if you like uh, for example we say we hooked up at the um, you know at the at the movie theater or we hooked up um, at um, the park it, it it sounds a little bit more like uh, you spent time together like but but mostly to spend more time together it sounds it's more about the future in the past it sounds more like like you're you had a relationship with someone okay okay thanks yeah you're welcome it's it's yeah um all right any other questions Okay, so since there are no questions, I'm going to get you guys to work in the breakout rooms. We're going to recreate them and we're going to open them up. This time, um, like I said, I want you to create the conversation and then we're going to be presenting the conversation in, excuse me, in class. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up the groups. We need to uh, share our conversation with with a, another other classmate. I don't know. I understand in that way. No, I don't know. I'm not sure. And you? <laughs> what do you and what do you understand? Uh, <laughs> but I think. Uh, we need to to write you we and me know. conversation whatever topic she said whatever topic right I do not practice very um, language English <laughs> <laughs> so you have problem with English I have problem with my English too <laughs> I'm I'm very problem I don't, I don't like. No problem. I don't like. It. <laughs> okay. But, uh, uh, but I understand. Yeah, I listen and very good. But, uh, but for me, it's difficult to uh, create a conversation using phrasal verb. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, for you? example, uh, we are going to talk about your work. I don't know. My word, I, I don't know word. <laughs> I uh, hobby. Uh, you uh, play the hobby. guitar. Okay. Uh, I programmation. Programmation. The computing. I but, like computing. In, in the programmation, um, but I don't know 
speak English. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know why. And do you like? Yeah, uh, my, uh, well, I like doing exercise. Mm. Uh, I, I, I work out. Mm. It's a, can talk me uh, about all of you want. So, for example, we are in the supermarket, right? Okay. And we can use like, I don't know if we can use like for get in in the supermarket, you have to put on the alcohol hill or I don't know, something like that. Mm, yes, you you must to uh, put on alcohol hill and mm -hmm. What things do you pick pick up and when you go to the supermarket? We can we need to write it right. Oh you mm, okay. <laughs> oh I don't know if okay. what do you buy? Uh, when you go to the supermarket, I will I I will write like in the small right. Okay, so so let Maybe. me let me sit down and I'll be this thing. I'm going to be I'm going to do this thing. I'm sorry. Maybe I can pick up you guys up and take you to my home. Okay, because Josue, Josue take off her mother at home. Sorry, could you repeat that for a moment? You, sorry, could you repeat that? Gabriela, can you repeat Me. this sentence? Okay. Yeah, please? I think Gabriela was the last one was that was talking. Hmm? Ah, okay. Uh, Josue, uh, because Josue, Josue take off her mother at home after the small. What do you mean take off her, her, his mother? What are you trying to say? Uh, she, he, he by the, in the, in the small center. I, I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, he he take takes off her mom at home. Oh, okay. But what do you mean by take off his mother at home? D tell me in Spanish. What what is it that you want to say? Uh, él llevará a su madre a casa después de, de del centro comercial. Oh, okay, okay. In that case, it's just take home, uh, but not take, take off. Yeah, wow. because um, yeah, take um, take off. Yes, it can mean leave, but uh, you don't 
uh, you don't leave somebody. You just you yourself eat, uh, leave. It's like it's, it's like say irse. It's only take home. Right. It's only take home. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Okay. Are you almost finished, or do you need more time? Teacher, is correct. Correct. If it say I have to take off. Yes, that would be perfect. Yes, you can say I have to take off, which means like basically tengo que irme, right? Which is fine. Hmm? Okay. All right, are you almost finished? Are you almost ready or do you need more time? It's finished, teacher. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll give you maybe one more minute and then I'll see you back in the big in the in the main house room okay i'll be back okay <laughs> um i'm worried speaking english the teacher lo sabe pero estoy haciendo mi intento i try to speak in english too oh, it's uh, difficult but my uh, because uh, it's the more it's the sk uh, speaking skill is is uh, the uh, is more difficult than other skills writing wow. or or else or I listening need... listening is difficult too. No, because I have problem in the platform. I, I have problem in the platform when the section three <laughs> for for this listening skill. Ya lo veré. I listen very good. I, I, I. Hey, uh, good for you, Godofredo. But the more you practice, the better you will get at it, Godofredo. Oh, teacher, are you there? <laughs> Welcome, teacher. Estoy luchando por practicar. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's it's good Godofredo to to practice um so don't be afraid to make mistakes it's okay you make a mistake that's all right you are learning and you will get better at it so don't worry if you make a mistake that's fine but you will get better at it i promise thank you you're welcome um, are you finished are you ready yes Okay, wonderful. Okay, I will see you in the main session then. We have a question. Yeah, you have a question? Yeah, we finished the conversation, but we don't know exactly if we have to tell you the conversation the conversation exactly or we just have to tell what were our conversation about no you have to say the conversation practice it in front of the class okay so the conversation are you ready Are you ready for to say in front of the class? Uh, no. Okay, because we're going to be going to the main session in a moment. So I'll see you guys over there and you're going to present the conversation in front of the class. Okay, give us uh, one minute. <laughs> okay, I'll give you 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, see you in a bit. Okay. Okay, Juan, I have it. I, I write.
Okay, all right class, we're going to be presenting the conversation in front of the class. So we are going to start, um, I'm going to start with, the, with uh, the numbers of the room number one. We'll start with that, okay? So room number one was um, Gabriela, Josue, and Judith. All right, so let's listen to Gabriela, Josue, and Judith. Okay, so I start the conversation. So, hi, ladies. Um, hold on for a minute. I'll be free in a moment. The thing is, I need to back up important files and documents in my hard drive. Okay, hurry up because I have to pick up my child. Okay, perfect. Uh, I only change off my t-shirt when I get at home. Okay, but I need to keep a dictionary around when I'm doing this thing. Maybe okay. I can pick up guy, go, uh, pick, pick you guy up and take you to my home. Mm -hmm. uh, Josue, put away your laptop and, and, and here fast, please. Okay. I don't care for laptops. I prefer tablets. Okay, but I have to take off by. Is that you're finished? Yes, yeah, so that seems. Last All right, bravo, excellent. Yeah, let me give Thanks. you a, an applause. Very good. Excellent, bravo, bravo. Okay, great. Let's now listen to Gisela and Juan. That's group number two. It's Gisela. Okay. Yes. Uh, hi, Juan. Did you get in in the supermarket? Yes, I get in and and at the door I put on some alcohol. Uh, did you get in at the supermarket? Yes, I can get in too. And what did you pick up at the supermarket? Uh, I pick up some fruits, some bread, some meat some vegetable and some uh, coca colas and you i choose to pick up uh, some rice some bread some beans and some cheese and what did you do after to get in to get out to the supermarket after the supermarket, I get on the bus for go to my house. What about you? After the supermarket, I get on to my car and get in in my home and clean up all the stuff that I buy at the supermarket. That's great. It yeah. was nice to see you at the supermarket. It was a pleasure. That's all, teacher. That's all. <laughs> all right, bravo, excellent. Let's give, let's give applause there. Very good, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, excellent. Just a little observation though. Um, you were talking about the past, right? Something that you did in the past, activities in the past. So just make sure that the verbs are also in the past, right? So for example, instead of saying get in, you would say, got in right instead of saying for example um i don't know pick up or yeah pick up it would be 
picked up, right? So just make sure that we do it in the past. But that's it. Very good. Very, very good. Yes, teacher. I, I forgot that. It's okay. It's okay. Um, me too. I forgot. Yeah, Thank that's you. fine. That's fine, though, for next time. Okay, and finally, we have Godofredo and Roxana. Let's listen to your conversation. Oh, we are going to have problem with the conversation because we are not right something about that. But we are going to uh, uh, we oh, what have I my my brain doesn't work. Um, but I <clears throat> I. Um, I ask some question about the daily routine uh, with a friend. Okay. Tell me. Okay. Tell me. Tell me about uh, your daily routine. Teacher, we tell about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, tell me, Godofredo, what do you do in the morning? I know. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you get up, for example? I get up at 6 p.m. Um, I get up at 6 p.m. What time do you wake up? I wake up at... Oh, wake up. <laughs> what time do you woke up? Woke up. I woke up in at some, at <laughs> six a.m. Okay. Um. Tell me. Ask. Ask me question about my routine. Do you know something about me? Not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. For example, I I tell you something about my daily, daily routine, and in the morning, I wake up at uh, five a.m. and I get up at five thirty. And I, in the in the afternoon, I usually uh, work out exercise. Um, only that. <laughs> okay, very good, bravo, excellent, bravo, very good. Okay, let's give you guys. There you go, bravo. All right, very good. Excellent. Just um, just a um, a observation, Roxana. I know you were you were after the op, um the observation I made from the other group that you had to make it in the past. Um, you were very careful yes. about that, which is good. Very very good. Now just remember though that when you are asking questions, you're not going to be using the past form of the verb, and it's because when you ask a question, the we use an auxiliary and the auxiliary is do but you use do in the past so you say did, did right yes. so because of did it's not necessary to put the other verb in the past does that make sense okay yes i understand okay so for example you would say did you wake up or did you wake up early today it would, you would not say did you woke up early Okay, so just be careful with that. But other than that, very good. Very, very good. Okay, all right, guys and girls. Um, that's wonderful. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I have still, we have, we have um, just a few more minutes left of class. And in these uh, few minutes left of class, I want to explain to you um, 
the the requests that you're going to be there's a one more section in section or there was one more exercise let's say in section um in section one that i want you to we want i want to talk about quickly okay and this section is when we are making request with models okay so making no, let's change this making requests requests uh, with models just make sure you understand what the word request is remember request is basically when you're asking somebody to do something for you that's a request okay so in case you are you forgot what it is well that's what it is right making requests is to ask somebody to do something for you okay um, Okay, so normally if you if you want to be polite and but you have a very close relationship with a person, normally we would just use the word please. Okay, just adding the word please at the beginning. Okay, so Okay, so that's one way, just adding the word please. So in, what I mean by adding please is that normally if the, the, like, the request that you would make would be something like this. Like for example, we saw it yesterday, get the milk, right? So get some milk. So we can say get some, sorry, so get some, milk no sorry pick up some milk sorry it's yesterday we saw pick up pick up some milk at the or on your way home I think that's what we saw yesterday on your way home so that's what we saw yesterday right that would be a request right pick up some milk on your way home but if you want to be polite, right, you want to be polite, we would just simply add the word please at the beginning, okay? So instead of just saying uh, pick up some milk on your way home, which sounds more like, a, like an order, we would say please pick up, um, pick up some milk on your way home, okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so this would be, like I said um, before, this is normally when you're talking to, um, talking with friends and family. Okay, so this is some something that uh, you're being polite, but you know, there's, there's a, a lot of familiarity with the person. Right? So you would just add the word please, okay? That's one way we can do it. The other way that we can do it is by, and yeah, and by, the other way is by using the word can. Okay, um, we can use can or could, oops, or could. Okay, um, hold on, can, yeah, so can or could, which basically is the same, um, just, and this one is more, um, for very polite with, um, this is very polite, very formal, okay, so this is more something that you would use 
uh, with other people that are like not your family or friends. This is like more with uh, like strangers um, and with um, people like in, with authority, okay? So this is more formal. Uh, more form formal usually with strangers or people with authority okay. so we would use can or could Okay, um, and so we would say, for example, we might start with can I'm also going to put good so can or could, and then. I'm going to continue using the same idea here. Could can you pick up some milk on your way home, please? Okay, so that's one way. Okay. And with the could, the same thing. And I'm, I'm just, just for the sake of, of um, um, yeah, just for the sake of doing something different, you can say, um, could you um, help me with this exercise? Okay. Please. Alright, so two things that I want you to notice that with with the with this, with can and could, after the can or could, we are always gonna be using the subject. In this case, normally it's gonna be you, okay? And then the verb, the verb is going to be after the subject, and the verb is gonna be you, um, in the base form of the verb. Okay. All right. So all the. Oops. Okay. So that's how we would do it. So can or could plus the subject plus the base form of the verb. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. And I want you to know yes. also yeah. that. We normally put the word please at the end. So, can you um, pick up some uh, some milk on your way home, please? Or, could you help me with this exercise, please? So the please would normally go at the end. Okay. So just just to make sure that you understand it, we're going to be using can or can or could plus subject plus base form of verb and then if you think it's necessary we would have to complement okay all right so just a reminder there and in the case there's one more way oh, there's one way more way that we could um, that we could use um, make a request and that is using the word would okay so can use would and in this case we would do it like this so would And after would, we would say, would would 
would you mind, um, for example, would you mind, um, would you mind lending me a hand? Would you mind help lending me a hand? Which means lend a hand means to help. Now it's also possible to say, would you please, or it's would you mind l lending me a hand, please, or would you mind, uh, okay, so yeah, would you mind lending me a hand? So in this case, um, we are going to be using the would, then the subject. The subject is you. Okay. And um, after after the after the word mind, oh sorry, we always use the word mind, but if you notice there's something special about when we use the word mind, and that is that after the word mind, the the verb is going to be in the sorry I'm sure. okay after the word mind oh sorry no that's not what I want let's change the color here yeah okay so after the verb mind is in the base form of the verb but the word mind is very um, particular because after the word mind we always use the the verb in the gerund form. That's why we have the word lending. Oops. Okay, so we always use the verb in the ing form. Okay? So would you mind lending? <coughs> Sounds good, everybody? Yes, I understand. Okay, right there. So, let me... but I have a question. Sure. What is your question? In the in the first uh, sentence, please pick up some milk on your way home. You don't need to use uh, uh, please comma pick up your pick up some milk on your way home. You don't need to use comma after after please. No. Okay. Another question is you can you can use please at the end or only at the beginning. Uh, with um with with the, this one, you can put it at the at the beginning or at the end. You could say pick up some milk on your way home, please. But it sounds more polite if you use the please at the beginning. Okay, because in, in, if you just start if you directly start with pick up. It sounds more like an order. Oh, it's okay. The same thing in Spanish, right? Like you see, there's a difference between saying, um, "Por favor, tráeme eso," then "Tráeme eso, por favor," right? Because the first thing that the person hears is "Por favor," so that automatically the person says, "Oh, okay, it's being polite." But if the person is just hearing "Tráeme eso, por favor." It, it sounds automatically the person understands that it's an order. So it's not so polite. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Okay, good. And there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about wood. Wood is also possible to use like this one. So it's also possible to use it like this. Um, So, for example, would, not with mind, right? No, not the word mind. So, any other word, which you can say, for example, uh, would you call her for me? Would you call her for me? So, it's also possible to use it like this one right here, where you have the can plus uh, can or could, in this case, it would be would, plus the subject plus the base form of the verb, right? So it's possible to do that. Now, the difference between this one and this one is that normally here, we would use 
would you please call her for me? So we could put the please in the middle. So that's the difference. Would you please call her for me? Okay, so here the same, it's the same thing, right? You're gonna be using um, the subject. You're gonna be using See, we're going to be using um, the, the, the verb, right, in the base form of the verb. But in this case, the difference is that we're going to be using please in the middle. Okay? So that one's like this one. Okay? So just to make sure that you understand it, with this one, the structure is would plus subject plus mind plus verb in ing, or let's just say gerund, it's easier, plus, if it's necessary, the complement, okay, and that's what it would be like for this one, okay, whereas this one is more like that, this one over here. We have would plus subject plus um, a base verb plus complement. Okay. Okay, so that's it, guys. Any questions at this moment? But if you use uh, the, the good, uh, when no when you use the the bear and and main the main bear, for example, in the second in the second example, you uh, could you please call her for me? You need to use please when you use the bear in a, in the base four. Not necessary. No, it's not necessary. It's just that the word please um, gives it more of a a polite feeling right so it just makes it a little bit more polite but it's not necessary okay okay all right okay so that's it oh notice that with this one we just use the please and the and the verb that's it just please and the verb so that's not, nothing else just the two please please plus the verb base form and then complement. Okay, all right, so that's it guys. That's all we have for today. Um, and we have finished there with the with section one, okay, so you have enough information there to finish section one in the platform and tomorrow we'll, we'll practice a little bit of this and we'll start with section two, okay? Any questions so far? No. I don't have any question. Everything is okay. Okay, it's clear. all right, wonderful. So Roxana has no questions. What about the other people? Me too, I don't have questions. Okay, all right. So in that case, guys, that will be all. I will see you tomorrow. And uh, your only homework is to finish section one. That's it, okay? I want everybody to have finished section one for tomorrow. That's your only homework, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. See you tomorrow. All right. See you Welcome. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.